Hey guys, this is Patrick McCann from McCann Customer Modeling, and in this video we're going to talk about architects. When you need one, how to find a good one, and what they charge for your home remodeling project. So let's get into it. So the first thing to know is when do you actually need an architect? And basically the simple answer to this one is whenever your project has load-bearing walls or is new construction. So this is everything from carports, garages, home additions, uh, garages in the backyard, uh, say you're building a new house, or taking out any load-bearing walls, or covered decks and sunrooms, for example. Well, now that's not everything, but it's a good portion of them. Now we've done a lot of projects this year that have required architects, and we're going to teach you how to find a good one. Now here's what not to do. Don't use Google. And the reason for that is because um, there are a lot of good architects in the world and there are a lot of bad ones and we've used quite a few of them over the years that we've been in business and what we've found is that Google's not necessarily the um, most efficient way to find one because there are a lot of architects that are really high quality but with bad marketing so you can't find them um, or you'll find a lot of architects that have really good marketing but they have poor customer service and most of the best architects that we've found are actually, um, they'll have higher quality, but they're not very good at marketing because they've spent all of their time being an architect and not learning how to be good marketers on the internet with search engine optimization, which is completely understandable because it's quite a difficult subject. And because of that, we found out that the best way to hire an architect is actually to go through realtors or use a home remodeling company and ask them because they have more experience with finding an architect that they were able to use more than one time successfully. And that's very important because everybody can have a good day or a bad day. It's more or less, um, how do you find an architect that will perform on a consistent basis that way you know that your project is going to go properly. So asking an experienced remodeler or an experienced real estate agent is actually the number one way that we've found to find an architect to successfully do your project. Now, that brings us to the third question, which is how much do they charge? Now, obviously this varies by um, city, by location in the United States, but we found, and well, and some will also charge by a percentage of the project, but the number one architect that we've used for quite a few years now, and we've actually given, uh, we've actually sent four of our clients over to him this year, he generally charges somewhere in between one to 4,000 per project, and that depends on the scope of the project and the specifications of the project. Now, a lot of architects will also charge based on a percentage of your budget for the project, so say, if you are doing a sunroom and it costs, say, $45,000, $50,000, then they might charge you, say, 5% of that for $2,000, $2,500, something like that. Um, whereas if you're doing a larger project, say, like a $100,000 project, like one more that we're getting ready to work on soon, um, he might charge somewhere around $5,000. So it all depends on how much work that the architect has to do and the location of your home. And if you do want to know of the best architect that we've found to use in the Cincinnati area, just go ahead and reach out to me and I will give you his information. And we've used him successfully for the past couple years, about five to 10 different projects with him. And every single time the homeowners that we've sent to him have loved him, it's worked out great. And we've basically found that his quality and customer service experience has been good enough to send our clients to him repeatedly. So. Uh, if you want his information, just go ahead and reach out to me and I'll send it to you in an email. That about sums it up. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon.